Hi, it's Bill Hayhurst once again for TelQuest Tech Support. In this lesson, we'll be going over Call Park and Unpark. What I'll be doing here is showing you step by step how to set up Call Park buttons on your telephones. It's not very hard. Actually, it's quite easy. We'll take a look at it together right now. All right, the first thing we're going to do is go over here and click on the user right here. Bring up the user programming, and in my case, I'll be using user 204. Then we go over here to the button programming tab right here. We click on that. We can see that we only have three appearance or three intercom buttons on this phone here. So what we're going to do is pick a button, and I'm going to pick one that's a little bit removed so it's a little bit clear. And what we're going to do is double click on it, number six. Down at the bottom of the screen, we can see we're working with button number six the label. The label is the word that's going to appear next to the button on the LCD. Now on certain phones like the 1408 and 1416 you will not see it when the phone is idle. On the 5400 type telephones you will see the word next to the LCD so keep that in mind. So here we're simply going to call this PARK P-A-R-K and we'll go over here click on this button and we'll find it under emulation right up here is call PARK. We click on that and the action data is going to be a park number. A park number will be comparable to a parking space. It's a number that we're going to announce to, over the intercom or over the paging system for people to dial in order to pick up that park call. So in this example here, we're using 600. All right, and then we click OK, and we're ready to go to the next step. And that would be if you want to put multiple park buttons on your phone, you can simply double click here, go back over here, call it park, let's call it 601, and I'll show you how we can fix up 600 also. We click over here, go to emulation, go to call park, right, and over here we're going to give it a number of 601. We click OK, we go over here, we're going to call it park 602, over here, change it to emulation call park and we'll call it 602 now we want to go back and fix the first one you don't really have to come double click and go all back down here what's nice here is you can right click over here and you can actually edit it right in here 600 okay then we click OK and then typically we would click the blue floppy up above to save it but that's good enough what we're doing right now one thing I'd like to point out if you're using a 5400 type telephone and you press the park button, you'll see a small triangular square shaped icon alongside the label. This will stay on until someone picks up the call. On the 1400 type telephones, when you press your park button, it's going to turn the LED green. Actually, it will be a flashing green LED. And that will continue to flash until someone picks it up. At that time, it will go out, and that park channel or park number will become available to use again. All right, now I'm going to show you how to create a button to unpark or pick up a park call on a specific number. And the method here is similar to what we did before. We're going to use button number 10, so we'll double click, and we'll go down to the bottom, and we're going to call this unpark. 600. We go to here, click on this button. It's a little bit different this time. We're going to click on advanced, actually just put the mouse over advanced. Then we're going to go up to call. Then we're going to go over here to where it says unpark call. Click on that. The action data is going to be 600 because that's the park zone or the park number that we want to pick up. We click OK and we can see now we have an unpark 600 uh, will appear in the label. It's an unpark a call and it's going to dial 600. Now we could go through the other ones here but I really don't think it's necessary since you already had experience setting up the call park button. Alright, the next method I'm going to show you is the manual method of picking up a park call. Let's say it's a single line telephone or even a multi-line telephone that does not have a unpark button on it. So here's how you do it. We're going to use the default unpark 
short code that's factory programmed in the IP Office Essential System. We can take a look up here and I'll zoom in on it to make it a little bit more clear for you. Alright, looking at this short code closely, you can see that it's star 38 star capital N followed by a number sign. What that means is this is the code that you would dial from any telephone on the intercom to access the unpark feature. What you would actually dial is star 38 star. The capital N represents the park number. If it was announced call on park 600, you would dial 600. If it was announced call park on 601, you would dial 601, followed by the number sign, which tells the system that you're done dialing. So, if a call was announced over the paging system that it was parked on 600, you could go to any telephone, pick up the handset, select the intercom, dial star 38 star 600 pound, and you would be able to pick up that call. Okay, that concludes this section of the lesson on call park and call unpark buttons. If you have any comments or questions, give your TelQuest salesperson a call and let them know. We're always ready to make changes. Once again, this is Bill Hayhurst from TelQuest Tech Support. Thanks for watching our video.